This is a story about a ring, my Stella ring. It was uh, made back in the 70s, early 70s, for a woman I love. Her name was Stella, meaning star country she came from. And uh, I went to a jeweler. It's funny how I liked diamond rings and wanted a ring to represent her. And uh, her name was Star by her country or origin. And uh, she was beautiful. People would go up to her. She looked like Cher of Sonny and Cher. And people would ask for her autograph. Just walk up. Can, may I have your autograph? Can I have your autograph? Will you sign this? Will you sign it? Well, some people would walk up and say, Are you Cher? And that's what that deal was. But she had a temper that God could not stop. She had a temper of unbelievable nature. And I wanted a piece of jewelry, a ring, to represent her beauty and her temper. And if you ever got in the way of a shooting star, that would be a match. So naturally, the ring had to look like a shooting star. Picked it up a couple weeks later. I never did ask Jeweler if it was custom made or not. Didn't think about that until just now. Actually, I thought about it the other day. And I put it on an auction site. Don't know if I should give a name or not, but the initials E B A Y. Oh, wow, that's eBay. And that was the first time it crossed my mind that uh, I didn't ever ask if it was custom made or not. But that's the story behind this ring. Absolutely beautiful. The person that owns it now will receive it soon. I'm putting it in the mail today. And I hope her and her husband, Godspeed and best of luck. And maybe this ring will bring the luck to her that brought it to me. Or not. But that's the story behind the Stella ring. So, and that's, that, that little star just fires all over the place. It's called a six point star what I understood it to be called. So that's the story behind the ring and that's the ring and the thing just moves away from your eyes. You just move it around, just moves away. Beautiful. End of tape.